The Fred Jackson Show on WBBZ TV. Sponsored by Buffalo Wine and Brew, Transit Road to Pew, Brew Beer, Make Wine. The Buffalo Roadhouse Grill, Niagara Falls Boulevard near the 290, where the Buffalonians roam. Duville College, educating for life. On the Rocks Liquor, Discount Liquors, Bailey Avenue, Buffalo. And Reimer Heating and Air Conditioning, with the Wizard of Comfort and your hometown comfort professionals. From the WBBZ TV studio at the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time for the Fred Jackson Show with running back Fred Jackson and co host Bob Koshinsky. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fred Jackson Show, and he's back this week, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Fred Jackson. And his special guest tonight, we have Marcel Darius joining us on the show for the very first time. From 97 Rock, we have DJ Dave Jixter in the house. And master of the Triddiverse, Brad Gelber is with us once again for questions from at home. Okay, Fred, last week you couldn't make it, and we had to pull in a Hall of Famer and a Wall of Famer. We had to pull in all the stops, but it's great having you back. How are you? How is the health? How's the groin? I'm good. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to those guys for filling in. You couldn't ask for two better people to come in and uh, take over the show, so uh, I appreciate that. Uh, but health-wise, I feel good. You know, uh, it's, I mean, obviously not 100%, you know, nobody is at this point of this season, so, but I feel good, you know, I'm working again back out there this weekend so I can, you know, try and make some plays for my teammates. You know, I've been doing broadcasting for about 35 years, and I think that's the very first time I asked a grown man on the air, how's your groin? I think that's <laughs> just, occurred, that just occurred to me. Hey, I've, I've heard all the jokes, so. Uh, well, yeah, that's not a joke. That's, I know, but. I've just done a, it's, just, it's a first for me. Okay. So you're back. You're ready to play. Um, this team, you know, 10 days ago, you're 5-3. and three. You've answered all the questions. You were there on the sidelines. I know that had to be a miserable night for you specifically in yeah. Miami. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely tough, you know, especially when we're, we're struggling on offense to put up points. Uh, you want to be out there and do everything you can, and uh, when you're on the sideline watching, you know, you just feel helpless. Uh, so um, I mean, it's, it's on me to get back out there, you know. Uh, not that I'm going to go out there and make things, you know, miraculously better, but uh, you want to go out there contribute and uh, when you're not able to it definitely is not a feeling that you like you know it's ironic before the bye uh, you know the, the team offensively against the Jets put a lot of points on the board of course a lot came, coming off of turnovers mm -hmm. but these last two weeks after the bye week and the ability to kind of scout yourself and figure things out instead of some new wrinkles that are working better, the team's struggling more than it ever has all year. Yeah, and uh, that's on us to get fixed. Um, you know, I think Coach Marone said it best. You know, our problem is scoring the ball. You know, and we haven't been able to do that, and that's something that to win in this league we have to be able to do. Our defense is playing tremendous. Uh, they're still creating turnovers for us. Uh, and anytime you get to get a defense that's doing that for you, you need to reward them. And we haven't done that as an offensive unit. And uh, if we want to get this thing turned around and go on a run, which, you know, at this point of the season, we knew that we were going to have to make a run at some point. Uh, if we want to get that done, uh, it has to be now. And we have to start scoring points. You're playing the Jets Sunday at home. You've, you, you know, you pretty much pummeled the Jets in the second half the last time you met them. They're going to have, you know, a score to want to settle. But you're playing at home, and this team has not performed well at home this year. Yeah, and again, that's on us as players. You know, uh, our, our, we've had the fans that come out to support us. It's been loud at the Ralph. Uh, something that we definitely need to take advantage of and feed off of. So um, we, we got to get it done, you know, and uh, we're playing a different team. This team that we played at, you know, uh, MetLife is going to be different. They're going to be com they're going to come in here ready to play, and we have to be able to match that intensity. Well, it's almost like you need something to get this team over the hump. You know, this time of year it's a holiday season, and people talk about you know ghosts of Christmas present, ghosts of Christmas past. We're going to bring out a ghost from football past. Somebody who's been there, and he's got a very special, inspirational speech just for you, Fred Jackson, the Buffalo Bills. Let's take a look. Fred, listen up. 
All of you know that this is my first season here in Buffalo. One thing about the Bills, it's a team with a great tradition. And that tradition has been developed through one thing only, and that's pride. Now, how do you develop pride? Pride is developed by a winning tradition. I'm only here because I want to win. Actually, the only difference between any one player in this league, any team in the league, is an energy. This is a cruel and tough business. Therefore, you've got to keep yourself in prime physical condition because fatigue will make cowards of us all. Fred, I have never been a part of a losing tradition and I do not intend to start now. From here on in, you will talk like, and you will act like the most dignified professionals in your hometown. For the goal here is to make the Buffalo Bills the Yankees of professional football. And anyone who doesn't like it is perfectly free to get the hell out right now. There are planes, trains, and buses leaving here every day. And if you don't produce for me, you're going to find yourself on one of them. And that, of course, uh, that's Vince Lombardi. At least the actor plays Vince Lombardi. It's going on in shaves. Um, have you ever had a speech like that before a game? Not at all. You know, I mean, yeah, you get those, those fiery coaches, but you know, nothing like that from Vince. Nobody who said there's planes, trains, and automobiles <laughs> leaving town, and you'll be on one of them if you don't play. <laughs> I've never heard that line no, before. No. But I, it, it hit home, though. Yeah, that's Vince Lombardi. <laughs> Look a little bit like Jim Belushi to me, but that's just, that's just me. <laughs> hey, when we come back, Marcel Darius is going to be here to talk about the Bills and the Jets right after this on the Fred Jackson Show.